today we'll talk about the sublime. The sublime is one of those subjects that are highly philosophical, but also very practical. Can be said to be the child of great horror and great beauty. And let me tell you why. It is said that the works of art since ancient times that have tapped into the sublime, they show a lot of nature, vast nature, seascapes, landscapes, the wanderer in a sea of fog, in so many works, such as Monet's Water Lilies, such as so many by George O'Keeffe, and the great operas, and the great speeches of history, they all have tapped into the sublime. And what is the sublime? It is something that brings you the clear realization that you are nothing in comparison to the great forces of nature, such as storms, tsunamis, volcanoes, but also the great miracle of life, birth, of love, of friendships that can last a lifetime, of courage, of selflessness, of charity, of risking one's life to save those who are persecuted, of sharing when we have so little. All of those examples tap into the sublime. And as an artist, as a creative, as a thinker and a maker, it is our job to stay tuned to all of that in our lives. There is just no way to produce powerful art, to have ideas that will bring about a paradigm shift without paying attention to the great beauty and the great horror right around us. By being tuned with these forces, where you stand in front of Mount Everest and you're nothing, nobody, yet you're capable of climbing it by walking that path that encounters great danger next to the precipice, you understand that there's not enough time to contemplate the nihilism that is preached out there. And instead, you should make great use of the limited amount of time that you have in this earth to come up with ideas that will bring more significance, more meaning to your life. The greatest works of art are exactly that. You go into a gallery, you go into a museum and you encounter some of those works of art that show the vastness of nature, a boat that is crossing the oceans, full of refugees that are hungry, that are escaping war. And it seems now they're doomed because they might get lost. But no, they have a sense of direction and they will make it to the other side. That is a work that allows you to see the horrors of the moment, but you are the safety of the museum space. So for you, that's beautiful. When you encounter beauty that carries within itself danger, deadly forces, then you're encountering the sublime. Now you understand why every single experience of life is important. That is why being in touch with oneself and with nature, meaning the world around you, is so important for creatives. So get out of the white cube, get into the real world, rub shoulders with others, go see nature, put yourself in situations where you can find yourself to be the smallest element in that environment. Realize your smallness and be impressed by the greatness of the unknown that's out there. Then run back, run back to the studio, to the drawing board, where you can then produce works that will tap into the sublime. Let's go.